Chirp by Suno is for music what Midjourney is for images. And we are just at the beginning. Listen to this. Baby, now we got bad blood. You know it used to be mad love. So take a look at what you've done. Cause baby, now we got bad blood. And now we got some bloods. And I don't think we can solve them. You made a really deep cut. Of course, it's not perfect, but if we are just at the beginning and it's only getting better from here, I'm very excited about this tool. So let's have a look at how to use it. First, we need to create a Discord account. Just skip ahead with the timestamps down below if you already have one. First, you go to discord.com. I'll also leave a link to that in the description and then you click on login. And from this page here, you can click on register and start creating your account. And here just fill out everything. <laughs> and don't mind the words, they are in German. You can probably tell by my accent that I'm from Germany. Just fill it out and then you can start creating your account. Okay, once the account is created, we need to confirm that we are human, of course. So we'll just do that real quick. And now we are on Discord. Let me switch that to English real quick. And now the last thing we want to do is to confirm our email address as it says in the green bar up top. So let's go there. And here we are in the confirmation email and of course you just click on verify email and it automatically sends you back to Discord. And then you go to suno.ai and here you can click on try the beta on Discord. You will be redirected and here you just click on accept invite. And then once in Discord, here we just go through the different things. So we want to make music with Chirp and we accept the server rules. And once here you can click on one of these Chirp beta rooms and start creating your music. But if it's a little bit too full for you, you can also message the Chirp bot privately. So let's do that. For that you just click up here on the member list and then you can make a right click on the Chirp bot and then you click on message. If for some reason you cannot do that, you go to the side here and then you click on privacy settings and then here you can toggle on direct messages. But back to the chirp board, right click, message and we are in a private chat. Down here you just type slash chirp, then you hit enter and this window opens. And here you choose the genre that you want and then you can enter your own lyrics or <laughs> if you are as bad as that as I am, you can have ChatGPT create lyrics for you. So let's test that and make a pop song about why AI generated music is amazing but slowly starts to destroy human creativity. Then you just click on submit and the soon chirpbot starts generating. And this took about 92 seconds to generate two versions of it. Not too bad, let's have a listen. In the age of technology, we've reached new heights. I generated tunes, their melodies ignite. The beat and rhythm, oh so perfectly aligned. But is this a blessing or a curse in disguise? AI's magic melody, it captures our souls. But what happens to our humanity as it takes control? We dance to the rhythm, lost in its grace, but slowly it's erasing the human touch without a trace. Okay, not too bad. I like it. Let's listen to the second version. In the age of technology, we've reached new heights. I've generated two and the melodies ignite. The beat and rhythm are so perfectly alive. But is this a blessing or a curse in disguise? I ask magic melody, it captures our souls. But what happens to humanity as it takes control? Okay, that was pretty good. I liked that one even more. Which one did you like more? Let me know in the comments. But now let's go down here and see what we can do with this now. First, we have the two hearts. If we click on that, we get a downloadable version, one or two. 
And if we click on continue, we continue either version one or version two, and the chirpbot will try to match the same voice and style. So let's continue two here. Let's continue with our pop song. Okay, let's give it a very dark touch and say AI takes over the music creation. It loses all soul and humans turn unhappy. Here we go. Let's have a listen. <laughs> In a world of endless innovation, AI's creation, music made with algorithms, no human sensation. Notes composed by cold machines like angulation, the soulful melodies lost in automation. Oh, we miss the magic, the human touch, the emotion. When the AI takes over, it's a soulless commotion. We offer melodies that make our hearts so hard without the warmth of human art will ever do so. Okay, a bit of an abrupt ending here. Not so sure what I think about this one. Let's listen to the other one. In a world of endless innovation, AI's creation, music made with algorithms, no human sensation, notes composed by cold machines, lacking elation, the soulful melodies lost in automation. Oh, we miss the magic, the human touch, the emotion. When the AI takes over, it's a soulless commotion. All right, also ends a little bit abruptly, but at least she sings everything. I like this one much more. So when we scroll down here and click on this heart too, it stitches all the clips together that we had until then. So our first one and our second one here. Of course, if we would click on heart one, it would use the first one we used here. Now let's listen at our whole clip. In the age of technology, we've reached new heights. I've generated tunes, the melodies ignite. The beat and rhythm are so perfectly aligned. But is this a blessing or a curse in disguise? I ask magic melody, it captures our souls. But what happens to humanity as it takes control? Okay, pretty good, especially if you keep in mind that this is the worst it will ever be. Now, of course, you can continue this even further if you click here on continue and you could stitch even more clips together. But I think two is enough for now. If you want to download it, you just go up here at the top right corner and there you can click on download. We'll test a few more things with the music generation, for example, Swearverge and different languages in just a moment. But for now, let's look at another command that is quite important, slash info. Because here you can see all of your credits and generations. A generation are 10 credits and you get 150 credits a month. Right now I think you still get 100 extra credits. So you have about 15 to 25 free generations a month, which is pretty fair, I think. But let's make another chirp and, as I said, test a few other things. Let's make it a punk song and then write our own lyrics. And as I said, I'm definitely horrible at that. So yeah, please don't laugh or laugh if you want to. Um, let's see. Born in a hopeless world so cold. And here I want to test what the AI does with the cold in brackets. And then let's do some form of rhyme here. Um, so I want to make the song obviously about AI and a bit dystopian. So what about... What about humans have no perspective? World belongs to the AI collective. <laughs> Again, don't laugh, I'm not good at this. And to finish this part, how about... To survive, you gotta be bold. And in brackets again. Good, now we come to the easy part where I just want to test a bit of swearing. So let's say I fucking hate the system. Obviously the most cliche sentence ever. Fucking 
fucking hate the system. Let's destroy the system. Okay. And of course here I want to see what Chirp does with this. If it's okay to use swearing like fucking and also destroying something if Chirp also does this. And here we go, 120 seconds, almost two minutes this time, and I'll tell you right away, these two songs were pretty bad. So let's go down here and let's recreate them, because uh, we really don't need to listen to them. So we just use the same as we did last time, click on submit and see if we get two better songs. Okay, this one was much faster, but let's have a listen. That was okay, you can do swear words, which is very cool. I could hear cold and bold very, very slightly in the background, but let's listen to the other one. Okay, now that one was very, very good. It omitted the destroy the system, but the cold and bold was very, very clearly there. So I'm really happy with this one. So as you know, if we like something, we just go down here, click at the heart, heart 2, because we like version 2, and then we get a downloadable version. And now I really wanted to test how you can make a cover. So let's type in chirp. Let's get here. And in the beginning, we listen to a cover, but I'm not sure if we need to type in the lyrics for that and then just recreate that or if ChatGPT actually can create a cover version if we tell it to create it. So let's test that and let's make a country version of, well, of Wind of Change from, from the Scorpions. And let's see if ChatGPT can create that. And it doesn't look like that. In the heartland where the wild birds blow I found solace in the chords that I blow Scorpion sang it with a spirit so true I strum a guitar and I yearn for you Under the prairie moon where dreams run free I'm singing my cover a heartfelt plea Wind of change carry my love on wings so strong Together we soar in this country song Alright, so if you want to create a cover version, you need to type in the lyrics and ChatGPT cannot create them. Good, now we know that as well. Alright, the last thing I want to test is how to make music in different languages or how good Chirp is with that. And since I'm German, I of course will make a German song. So I can tell you if it is any good. Let's make it um, in the style of Rammstein, which, which would be... Uh, neue Deutsche Härte, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, let's say in the start of Rammstein and see what Chirp does with that. This song I make about, about a lake in a forest under a full moon. The lyrics don't look too bad, now let's also have a listen. And it stopped in the middle because it made so much instrumental in the beginning and it only is up to 40 seconds. But I can tell you the pronunciation wasn't too bad.
well, I don't know what the hell that was, but it was definitely not what I wanted. Um, anyway, well, I think let's test something completely different here. Let's make Deutsch rock and let's make it completely cliche about beer and that it's the best drink in the world. And uh, here we go. Well, I definitely like that background picture. Let's give it a listen. Wie es das allerbeste Getränk im Glas glänzt es golden und schmeckt wie ein Triumph im Vorhaarwunder singt fröhlich laut und leckt auf das Bier, das uns immer beglückt. Oh Bier, du flüssiges Gold der Götter, du bringst uns Freude und empfasst die Lebensglut. Okay, I really like that. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, let's listen to the other one. Bier is das allerbeste Getränk. Im Glas glänzt es golden und schmeckt wie ein Triumph. Im Vorhunde sing wir fröhlich laut und lenk auf das Bier, das uns immer beglückt. Let's listen to the beginning again. That sounds a lot like Sport von der Stille. Hier ist das allerbeste Getränk. Im Glas glänzt es golden und schmeckt wie ein Triumph. Definitely reminds me of Sportfreunde Stiller. If you're German, you know what I mean. But I'm happy with the pronunciation in other languages than English sounded pretty good to me. And if you're as enthusiastic about the newest AI tools and news as I am, and can sit through even more videos with my thick German accent, then be sure to check out this playlist where I talk about the coolest AI tools everyone should know.